Hello, my name's Steph Bond and I'm a rheumatology registrar at Redcliffe Hospital, just north of Brisbane in Queensland, Australia. And I'm Michelle and I live with psoriatic arthritis. Today we'd like to show you how to inject yourself with methotrexate just under the skin subcutaneously. I've been injecting myself with methotrexate for just over five years now. Methotrexate is a very commonly used medication to treat conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune conditions such as psoriatic arthritis. It comes in both tablet and injection format. Taking your methotrexate as an injection may help to increase the absorption of your methotrexate and help to better control your arthritis symptoms. It may also help to reduce side effects such as nausea. Similarly to the tablet, injections of methotrexate should be given once weekly and on the same day each week. You, a friend or family member can inject your methotrexate. This video is to help you, but you might like your GP or their nurse to assist you with your first injection. The injection itself is relatively painless as it uses a really fine needle that goes just under the skin subcutaneously. There are five steps involved in injecting methotrexate. Step one, gather your equipment. Step two, choose an injection site. Step three, prepare the methotrexate. Step four, inject the methotrexate. Step five, dispose of the syringe. Step one, collect your equipment. The injectable methotrexate is a clear yellow liquid with 50 milligrams in a two mil vial. And there are usually five vials provided on each prescription. A one mil insulin syringe has a really fine needle and numbers written along their side to help you draw up the correct amount of methotrexate for your dose. You can purchase these in packs of 10 from your local pharmacy. A sharps container for disposing of the syringe after the injection, this can also be obtained from your local pharmacy. Alcohol swabs or cotton wool balls to clean the skin before injecting. Your dose will be between 10 and 25 milligrams. If your dose is 25 milligrams, you will draw up one mil. One mil is the number 100 on an insulin syringe. If you're not sure, please check with your GP, your pharmacist or your rheumatologist before injecting. Step two, choose an injection site. Start by washing your hands thoroughly with soap and water. The area of your skin that you are injecting should be clean. For example, just after a shower, or you can wash it with soap and water. If you prefer, you can wipe it with an alcohol swab, but it's not really required. The injection can be given in the thigh or the abdomen. And it's best to choose a different site for each injection. So this week, you might inject into your right thigh and next week your left thigh. If you are injecting into your abdomen, stay at least five centimetres away from the area around your belly button. And don't inject into any area that is tender, bruised, hard, scarred or red. Step three, prepare the methotrexate. If it has been used before, clean the rubber top with an alcohol swab first. Remove the needle cap. Insert the needle through the rubber stopper of the vial. Push the plunger all the way down to the end to push out any air from the syringe. Pull the plunger back and draw up the required quantity of methotrexate liquid. So if your dose is 15 milligrams of methotrexate, you will draw the syringe back to 0.6 mils. If you are having 20 milligrams of methotrexate, you will draw it back to 0.8 mils. It is not harmful if there is a small air pocket in the syringe and you accidentally inject a little air with the solution under the skin. Step four, inject the methotrexate. 
pinch about an inch of your clean skin and gently insert the needle into your skin, like a dart, at an angle of approximately 90 degrees. Release the skin and push the plunger on the syringe all the way down to inject the methotrexate. Pull the needle straight out and apply pressure to the skin with a cotton wool ball for about 10 seconds. Do not worry if there's a small amount of leakage or you get methotrexate on your skin as it is not absorbed. Slight bleeding or bruising in the injection site is normal and the bleeding should ease quickly if you apply pressure with a cotton wool ball or tissue. Step five, it is important to dispose of used syringes in a proper sharps container. Put the syringe and any old methotrexate vials swabs or cotton wool balls into your sharps container. Don't ever put the cap back on a needle as you or somebody else might injure themselves with the needle. When your sharps container is three quarters full, seal and return to the pharmacy where you buy your methotrexate. Make sure you keep the sharps container out of reach of children. A few final tips before we finish. The vials do not need to be kept in the fridge, but do need to be kept in a cool, dry place for instance in the pantry, and they do need to be kept away from direct sunlight, for instance away from the windowsill. Always ensure that they're kept out of reach of children. And the needle and syringe do need to be disposed of in a sharps container. If you have any questions or are, or are uncertain about anything, especially the dose, make sure you check with your doctor first. There is some useful information available on the Australian Rheumatology Association website and on the Arthritis Queensland websites. Take control of your arthritis today.